As promised, in honor of Dr. King's holiday on this past Monday that we celebrated King Day, being that Hitler decided to celebrate by going to a golf course, I decided to give you guys my version of honoring Dr. King's legacy, which is the title of this presentation, Dr. King's Legacy. Martin reluctantly led the civil rights Oh, Most don't know that Martin was reluctant in leading the civil rights movement. What King really wanted to do was preach and call it a day. But Martin knew if he didn't stand up, no one else was going to do it. In the end, Martin managed to get a reluctant President Johnson, or Lyndon Johnson, to sign the civil rights bill into law, into United States law. The fact that Lyndon Johnson really didn't care or really didn't want to sign the bill and only did so to appease black people tells black people in America how Johnson and select whites really and only felt about black people. They really didn't care whatsoever, unfortunately. Shortly after the Civil Rights Bill is passed, Dr. King speaks critically of the Vietnam War, then suddenly Dr. King is physically killed. Coretta petitions an already reluctant group of white men to honor her husband, Dr. Dr. King, with a national holiday. Question is, was a national holiday with his name on it part of what Martin King, what Martin King's mission was and is? No. Reality is, Dr. King wanted black people to have the right to work in white companies, shop where white whites shop if black people chose to do so. Did Dr. King want blacks to force their way into these places? No. What Dr. King wanted was if a black person wanted to shop at a nice shoe store that happened to be in a white area, that black person should be allowed to shop in that white establishment and pay the same dollar that has the same dead white person on it that the living white person has. That's what Dr. King really wanted. So what's the best way to honor the mission of Martin King or Martin Luther King? Get up and go, go to work. On his birthday, that's how you properly honor Dr. King. Also, Martin did not lead the civil rights movement so that black people in America could justify degrading themselves by purposely calling each other nigger, as though the term which was created to disgrace blacks is able to be used to in a reverse manner. If that were so, even Martin would have used the term often in his day, in his physical day, but he didn't. Yet, those blacks from America who say they honor Dr. King find it easy to speak and act in ways that are totally opposite what Dr. King, certainly Rosa, stu stood for. Though, yes, I'm guilty of using colorful language that Reverend King would frown upon, what I don't do is use the word the Ku Klux Klan regularly call both Martin and myself as well as Rosa. In that meaning, they, for those who don't understand what I'm talking about, I refuse to use the word nigger because that term was never designed to uplift dark brown skinned people. It was designed to put down and destroy, destroy mentally brown skinned people. So I can never use a term because to use a term is to spit in the face of what Dr. King did. For any black person employed in the United States right now, we all Oh, Dr. King is serious debt, and that debt should be paid in watching how we speak to one another, 
we should be speaking life to one another instead of speaking degradation. Dr. King physically left the world 54 years ago and in those 54 years it would seem as though outside of the election of Barack Obama to the presidency a larger number of black celebrities than in Hollywood than there used to be and in the world of um, <clears throat> the large number of black celebrities that are in Hollywood and the world, world of American sports than there used to be in 64 um, than there were excuse me there's a larger number of blacks in Hollywood and in sports than there were in the year 1964 the year before Dr. King crossed over if it wasn't for outside of these factors it would seem as though Martin never existed the reason I say this is because even before Martin was physically cut down, he did not give black people the impression that the struggle for equality was over with the Civil Rights Movement, Civil Rights Bill. Rather, the vision of Dr. King provided, proved rather, no, excuse, provided one with the idea that there's still much work to be done. The question is, why did the children of the Civil Rights Movement take a strange vacation if if the children of the civil rights movement who who are our parents now and our grandparents and our great grandparents if they had not chosen to take the strange vacation perhaps Black Lives Matter would have started in the 70s instead of the second decade of 2000 again for those of us, any of us of brown skin who are employed, we owe Dr. King a debt of honor. And we should pay that pay tribute to Dr. King. Not by having a barbecue when the United States says it's his holiday. Rather, we should go to work and work the day because that's what Dr. King wanted anyway. Just as he wanted blacks to freely be able to go to white establishments to make purchases, Dr. King also wanted blacks to do better on purpose for themselves. We're talking about a man with a college degree who is about upliftment. Yet, those who speak they are proud of him tend to do the total opposite both in 65 and 66 after he left up to today. With that said, to Dr. King, and to all those who did what they did. Thank you.